Good day, everyone. I pray today that you understand and know that no matter what is happening with you today, the Father is there with you. Also, I want you to be encouraged that no matter how you feel about yourself spiritually, if you have Jesus Christ living in you, you have the hope of the world. Paul helps us. Here he says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in us. Also understand that you are a son or daughter of light because Jesus Christ lives within you. Years ago, 1984 to be exact, when I moved here to San Francisco, we would, I worked for Young Life, and one of the things we would do was we'd take kids out on outings and things around the city as we have Young Life Club. And Young Life Club is basically a youth gathering for kids, and we take them and speak the gospel into them, help them see and experience the gospel. Well, right near where I lived, uh, along the coastline, there's Fort Funston, which is an old leftover relic from World War II. Well, at the time, during World War II, there were two big gun emplacements there facing out over the ocean. But as time goes on, of course, those things were taken away. But what was left over was this long tunnel, which was where they would store the ammunition and load the guns and between the two guns. So I'd say this is about 200 yards long. Well, I learned something there because, you know, I like World War II and go and look at the gun emplacements. There's this tunnel, as I mentioned, and this tunnel is very dark. Matter of fact, I mentioned it to one of my committee people that I was taking the kids up there for Halloween and to teach them a couple of things. And he says, that's too dangerous to go up there. Well, today, those tunnels are blocked off because of the danger. But the danger was this, that when you walked into that tunnel, about five feet, even though it is broad daylight outside, you can't see a thing. You're in palpable darkness. And that darkness surrounds you. And so these young people go in. They're, they're afraid, of course. And I'd have some young life leaders stationed along the way to, to, to talk with them and encourage them. But then I help them to understand something about that darkness. That we at spiritually walk in that type of darkness where you can't see your hand in front of your face. You stumble. You don't know quite what to do. You don't know quite where you're going because you can't see. There's darkness. You can grope and feel your way, but there's unfamiliar objects along the way. One of the things about walking through those tunnels, sometimes they were full of sand or there's bottles on the floor and kids didn't know what they're stepping in. Of course, I'd gone over previously and examined it with a flashlight. But here's my point. John, in the gospel, picks up, on the letter, picks up on what he talks about in the gospel. That we are men and women of light because Jesus Christ has come. John 8, 12. John says, Jesus is speaking, he says, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not in darkness, but will have the light of life. John picks up on that. In one, 1 John 1, 5, he says, This is a message we've heard from him and announced to you that God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all, that there's purity, there is truth, there is life itself. We can't have life without light. Jesus comes to bring light and life into men and women, that we have that. So he keeps pushing, pushing that theme. And then in one seven he says, if we walk in the light as he himself in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all of our sin. Why? Because we are washed and bathed in the light of Christ. John goes on. He wants us to understand that the light has already come and the light is shining. How does the light shine? Well, remember, Jesus says, while I am in the world, believe in me, I am the light of the world. But then Jesus gives us this message in John 12. He says, while you have the light, believe in the light, that is Jesus, so that you may become sons and daughters of light. That's who we are. These things Jesus spoke because he wanted, wanted us to understand and know that when we have the light of life in us, because God is light, Jesus is the light of the world. He brings light and life into us. 
that we get to live and walk in the light because we are children of light. But then John goes, not just with who we are and what we have become, but again, as he does so well in, in this letter, he tells us, here's the theme, here's what it means to you, what it means for you to walk and live this way. But then he says, here are the behaviors that this light should portray. So he says this in, in the second chapter. He says, the one who says he walks in the light, yet hates his brother or sister, is walking in darkness. Oh, wait, how does darkness come? Now, remember, John tells us in the gospel that the darkness has tried to overcome the light, but it could not. Yet yeah, that is Jesus. The darkness tries to overcome, but in our lives, we give darkness access. Just like we walked into those, that cave up there, we were giving darkness access in our spiritual lives. There are things that we do, things that we say against our brothers and sisters that bring harm to them, which becomes hate in our lives. That hate and anger then builds in us, and so darkness begins to overwhelm us. He goes on in the next verse. The one who loves his brother abides, rest, lives, walks in the light. There's no cause for stumbling in here, he or she. What's the idea there? Because if the light of Christ is in us, and if we are what which it is, and if we're walking as children of light, therefore, we love our brothers and sisters. We take care of our brothers and sisters. I know even that person that sometimes drives you nuts, love them. If there's someone that you have hatred towards, anger towards, issues with them, go confess them to your brother to your sister. Talk with them. Guide them. Lead them. Help them to understand and listen to what they're saying. Because as we do that, we begin to love our brothers and sisters because, again, light dispels the darkness. Because we are called to walk and be children of light. That's what John is telling us here. Not just in the gospel, but here in 1 John as well. Then Paul picks up on the same idea. He tells us this in Ephesians 5.8. He says, you were formerly darkness. That sound like John again? Remember, if you believe in Christ, now you walk in the light. But now you are the light of the world. Walk as children of light. And that is what John is reminding us, that you and I are children of light. The light of the world lives in us. The light of the world shines out of us. Think of your life this way. There's a light shining out of you. Our lives are lampshades. Our lives are lampshades. And that light diffuses, that light lights up everything around us. I know we use light shades to control light, and there's different types of lampshades, but our lives are that way. That's our personality that the Father has given us because we walk as children of light. We no longer walk in darkness stumbling, walk in darkness can't find our way, walk in darkness of fear. We walk in light because in the light we see and know the Father. Paul picks up on this again and talks to us again in Philippians. He says in 2.15, that you approve yourselves blameless and innocent, children of God, above reproach in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among who you appear as lights in the world. Because you and I, because of Christ Jesus in us, we walk in the light because we are of the light, because we are no longer people of darkness, but people of light because we are the children of light. We walk in the light as Jesus walked in the light. We have fellowship with him because we've been cleansed. Therefore, we're children of light and life because the Father is in us, living out of us. So no matter what you're doing today, remember that you are a child of light and the Father is shining his light through you that others may see him in this dark generation. Lord, we bless you and thank you for this gift. Again, that we are children of light. We're yours. Lord, we bless you and thank you. 
Lord, help us to walk as and live as what we are. Your light in a very dark world, Jesus. In your name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Be blessed today, my dear friends.